The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. Oh man, that flight felt like it was going to last forever. I'm glad we're finally here. No kidding. It feels good to finally be off of that plane. Wow, Barry. This is a pretty cozy place. Are we really going to spend the summer here? Oh yes, we are, Joey. You two go ahead and make yourselves at home. Thanks, Barry. We'll be in the living room. So what's first on the agenda, Barry? Well, I have a lot of fun stuff planned out for us. We could go snorkeling, uh, take an island tour, uh, go to a concert, stuff like that. Oh, I want to go on an island tour and find some cool ice cream shops, but I'm still feeling pretty beat from that plane ride. I don't think I have the energy to go out and do stuff right away at the moment. Joey has a point, Barry. That plane ride was an absolute fucking endurance test. Quite frankly, it's left me exhausted. Is there anything here for us to do in the meantime while we rest, though? Oh, don't worry. We have something we can pass the time with while we rest up. How do you fellas feel about starting up a Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play during our downtimes throughout summer vacation? Oh, great idea, Barry. I'm totally down for that. Yeah, me too. I love me some sunshine. What an absolute classic GameCube game. Agreed, Joey. Well then, let's fire up the good old GameCube and get this Let's Play started. We can all take turns playing between a level or two or something. Sounds good. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm down with that. We'll figure out how we'll handle deciding turns. When we get an idea of the game shine progression across levels, it's been a while since I last played this game and I honestly don't remember. Yeah, same here. I guess I'll go first then to start the playthrough off. Oh yeah, that's like music to my ears. I can't ever get tired of that. Yeah, that shit fucking slaps. Man, this intro really does bring me back. No kidding. I've always loved how Imposter Mario opens up the intro with his M graffiti. The intro itself is pretty cool. I like that there's a brochure of sorts in the form of a commercial video for them to view on their way to the island. It really sells Isle Delfino as a tropical paradise. Yeah, I agree, Dawn. It makes you wish that Isle Delfino was a real place so that you could visit it. I love Hawaii and all, but uh, if I could choose to vacation here or Isle Delfino, I'd definitely choose Isle Delfino 100%. The environments in this game are probably my most favorite out of most Mario games. Really? Say, what is your guy's favorite Mario games? I'd have to go with Super Mario World on the SNES. I would play it with my kids back in the day pretty often. Those were great times. I'd say Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite. I love where the game takes place, uh, and it reminds me of home. Those are respectable choices. My favorite is Super Mario Bros. 3. It's an NES classic that still holds up to this day, in my opinion. I agree. Great choices, fellas. 
Oh, here it comes. Get ready, boys. Super Mario Sunshine! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Mario Sunshine. Fuck yeah, let's get this show on the road, boys. Hell yeah, I'm ready for this. Let me just delete this save file and then check our settings real quick to see if everything is in order before we start. All good, Barry. Take your time. Yeah, it'd be a little embarrassing to fuck up our settings on video. I mean, there's a lot more embarrassing things than that, like falling down on the stairs of Air Force One. Oh, man, don't remind me. No worries, Joey. Your dementia will help you forget. Oh, uh, what were we just talking about? Ha, ha, ha. Anyways, it seems like our settings are in order. You ready, boys? Yeah, Barry, send it. Ready when you are. All right, let's roll. fuck is all that shit? Looks like liquefied fruit roll-up or something. Uh, I think that's supposed to be a paint-like substance, Joey. It looks more like Lady Rainicorn from Adventure Time. No, Took no, a big fat Don't shit all over down. the runway. Ha 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 ha. Oh, there's that damn imposter. You better stay away from the princess, you piece of shit. Or so help me God. I'll Relax, Joey. We'll kick his ass in due time. He won't get the princess. What the hell? He's gone? Looks like we better be on our toes, boys. Who knows when and where that imposter will strike. He don't got the balls to mess with Master my nigga Mario, Mario though. Would, no, that guy's definitely a lunatic. He's definitely going to mess with Mario. Uh, he's going to catch these fucking hands in that case. So you better watch yourself, imposter. All right, Joey, when we get our hands on him, you tackle him to the ground and restrain him while Obama beats the ever-living shit out of him while I stand above him in superiority. And then Donnie can go for a body slam since he's so big. Uh, damn it, I gotta get used to these controls again. Uh, that's also a funny plan, by the way. <laughs> I'll let that one slide, Joey, since that Mario impersonator would be fucking squashed to death. Just a heads up for all of you uh, viewing right now. We apologize for any future gameplay portions in this video. The controls can take a bit to get used to in this game, so we might have to do some cuts at some points. Don't worry, though. We'll play better as the series goes on. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science. Wait, doesn't Gad stand for E-Gad, like the scientist from Luigi's Mansion? Yes, it does, Joey. He supposedly invented Flood, though I don't remember how Flood ended up in Isle Delfino, though. Yeah, it's definitely a strange coincidence, that's for sure. The timing is a little too perfect, though. The island suddenly is having graffiti problems, and then Flood is just here? That's too much of a coincidence that can't be overlooked. Yeah, that's definitely strange. User instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my cake. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Hell now, let's get back to the game at hand. Yeah, we got this shit, right, Joe? Uh-huh. What's happening? Is my ice cream here yet, Kamala? Uh, you're not at the White House right now, Joey. We're at my vacation home, remember? Oh, right. Sorry, boys. I'll make sure to take my dementia medication before we head out today. No worries, Joey. We'll make sure you do. All right, let's get this airstrip clean. I see a civilian submerged underneath the paint-like gooey shit. I know that's got to be nasty. Man, I bet Princess Peach can get pretty nasty. Keep your pants on, Joey. With all due respect, I don't think she'd want you like that. 
Oh, of course she would, Donnie. There's no way she could withstand my charming good looks and swagger. Uh, you say that, Joey, but when we stopped at that gas station before coming here, you tried to flirt with the cashier. She called you creepy and threatened to call the cops. The fuck? That really happened? Yeah, it did, Joe. It was pretty funny, not going to lie, though. I mean, it was. But, Joey, you need to stay out of trouble while we're here, all right? All right, I'll stay out of trouble, guys. Anyway, so that fucking monster looks disgusting, yet oddly delicious looking. Only you would say something like that, Joe. Ha 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 ha. Die, you fucking goop monster. Die. Fuck yeah. Eat shit, you goop monster. Good shit, Obama. Now let's pillage its fucking corpse for that shine sprite. Let's slurp it up and eat it. Yeah, I'm passing on that one. Let's go, boys. First shine sprite. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Uh, Y'all did not see that. Oh, I think we did Obama. <laughs> Don't worry, Obama. We're all super rusty at this game. We'll get better with the controls as we play. Joey is right, Barry. Don't worry about it. Thanks, guys. Uh, I guess I'll pass the controller to Joey now. That OK, Donnie? I don't mind. Go ahead, Joe. So I guess the order will be Barry, Joey, then me. Sounds good to me. Uh, well, that settles that, then. Whoa, hold up, officers. We're not the one who did this. Please, you've got to believe us. I'm begging you, don't throw us in the slammer, please. Fuck, they really jailed his ass. Please, officers, free my nigga Mario. Court is now in session. This court is fucking bullshit. Eat my ass, judge. Yeah, uh, whatever Donnie said. Wow. Yeah, it looks like someone took a lava shit all over the damn place. That's nasty as hell. Damn, fake Mario's a fucking pollution terrorist. What the fuck? Indeed. How can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath the veil of darkness. Who fucking who? Free Mario now. Those shine scholars can study my fucking nuts. All of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti. Okay, this bad. guy somewhat has a brain. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator. These people need their fucking eyes checked. Goddamn. That doesn't look like our Mario. Come on, people. Party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. Oh, fuck this old hag. I hope you're floating down the river in a coffin soon enough, Grandma. Now we gotta clean all this shit up? God damn it. Court adjourned. Fuck you. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. But the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. All right, you know what? Let's prove our innocence, boys. Let's take down that imposter. Uh, it, it's your turn now, by the way, Joey. Oh, thanks, Barry. Let's get to cleaning, I guess. To get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you. Fuck these pigs. I'll be watching you, so you better watch yourselves. Uh, well, guys, uh, welcome to Isle Delfino. It's a rough start to uh, our vacation, but... Uh, I guess we do have to help these people out and unmask whoever that imposter is so everyone is happy. Yeah, you're right, Barry. All right, let's get to cleaning. Oh, wait. I need to talk to the princess real quick and see if she's okay. Don't worry, my little peach. Everything will be okay. We will stop that evil madman 
and then you can give us a kiss. Okay, Joey, focus on the task at hand and leave Peach alone for now. Yeah, I think the princess would like that idea. All right, citizens of Isle Delfino, Joe Biden is now on the scene and ready to assist. Well, while Joey takes care of this part, um, I was meaning to ask you guys how you would feel uh, about uh, an Arcane Odyssey Let's Play series. Oh, right. I think you mentioned that game during the plane ride. That's that game on Roblox where it's essentially an open world RPG with magic and sailing and stuff, right? Yeah, that's the one. It's made by a guy named Vetex Games. He's most well known uh, for arcane adventures, but also made games like World of Magic, One Piece, Golden Age, and other stuff. Yeah, I'm down to play some arcane odyssey with y'all. There's supposed to be a lot of classes, magics, and weapons you can use, right? That's correct, Joey. I'll give you all the rundown of the game when we go out to eat today. Sounds good, Barry. I'm down to play the game whenever that will be. Also, a question for you viewers out there. What games would you like for us to play? Post a comment down below if you have any suggestions. Just keep in mind that uh, Sushums is a busy guy. He's our editor, so we can't pump out episodes uh, super fast or anything like that. Uh, these episodes will drop with time. Just know that he does his best. Yeah, continue working hard, my guy. Anyways, come on, Joey, you got his ass. Man, these controls are screwing me. Die, you evil plant monster. Leave this world now. Yeah, take that, shithead. Fuck yeah, let's go. The fuck is happening? Oh, I see. That statue was rising from the ground. I was confused as hell at first. I honestly forgot this happened. It's him. There's the fucker that got us thrown in jail. Oh, I'm on his ass now. Oh, shit, he's making a beeline towards the princess, boys. Damn it, get him, Joey. Fuck, put the princess down, you bitch. I'm gonna get you, you fucker. There he is, Joe, fuck him up. Yeah, get his ass, Joe, you got him right where you want him. Put her down, you vile fuck. Damn, these controls are making me sell so hard, man. You've got him on the ropes, Joe. Don't stop the pressure you're putting on him. He can't keep running away from us forever. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, though. I am starting to get hungry. Y'all wanna order something or go out for a bite to eat after this? I meant to ask earlier about where we were gonna eat, actually. Isn't there a Texas Roadhouse around here? Yes, there is. Y'all wanna hit up uh, Texas Roadhouse after this gameplay session, then? Oh, hell yeah. I could go for a big juicy steak right about now. My mouth is watering already, man. Ha 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 I'm with you there, Joey. Ha 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 ha. Texas Roadhouse, it is then. After Donnie takes a turn to play, we'll wrap up this gameplay session uh, and head out to get some steak. Finally, I got you right where I want you, you faker. Look at this guy, he's on the ground crying like a damn baby. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no, where's this nigga think he's going? Chase him, Joey. Joe Biden is on the pursuit. Stop right there, right now, or else. He's getting away, Joe. Stop him. Um, I think he's running towards the statue. Oh, wait a fucking minute. He's trying to escape. Damn it, there he goes. Jump in after him, Joey. Oh, I won't let this fucker get away. So, uh, question, fellas, what do you think about the Bianco Hills levels, if you remember? I think Bianco Hills is a pretty nicely designed area. It's got that mountainous hillside feel to it with windmills and small houses. It's really charming, I think. Agreed, Joey. It's a wonderful first level for the beginning of the game. Yeah, I like this particular level, too. It's really beautiful, and I'd love to visit a place that looks like it. Anyways, though, how the fuck do I get to the windmill from here? Try talking to that lady down there, Joey. Oh, right. Hello, pretty lady. Could you direct us to the big windmill here? We're here to clean up the mess of somebody impersonating us.
That took you a bit, Joey, but good job nonetheless. Hopefully by next video, I'll have these controls down. It sucks to be playing so bad. If it makes you feel any better, Joey, I'm going to be dealing with the same thing when it's my turn next. Watch out for those shit meatballs, by the way, Joey. Holy shit, that almost hit me. Thanks, Barry. By the way, fellas, did y'all hear that Luigi's Mansion 2 HD drop back in late June? Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot it released recently. We should definitely play that game on the channel someday. We should probably play the original Luigi's Mansion before playing 2, though. The GameCube version, right, Joey? Definitely on the GameCube. Personally, um, I love playing games on their original systems. I don't mind emulating games if you don't have any choice to, but there's just something special about playing the game on the system it originally released on. Do you guys get what I mean? I totally get that, Barry. I'm the same way. It's most likely nostalgia that has that effect on you. You remember playing the game on that console at the time, and those memories of that time end up becoming special to you. So I guess that's what gives you that feeling, Barry. Yeah, I feel the same way as you two do. Nothing beats playing the game on its original system. Also, it's your turn, Dawn. Thank you, Joey. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. I want to get through this playthrough smoothly, at least. So up next for Bianco Hills is Petey Piranha, I think. He shouldn't be too bad or anything. I don't really remember him being a super hard fighter. Doesn't matter if he's tough or not, his plant-looking ass is gonna get his shit rocked regardless. Now that it's the Trumpster's turn... All right, let's wrap this shit up. Petey's absolute demise. We're going to turn him into a fucking plant burger and eat him on God No Cap. Hell yeah, Don. Plant burger, plant burger, plant burger. Uh, you know, Donnie, hearing somebody say that they're going to turn PD Piranha into a plant burger is one of the most unexpected statements that I thought I'd never hear. That's wild as hell. Ha 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 ha! You learn something new every day, Barry. True, Donnie. I recently learned that the blue whale has the biggest pe- Joey, please don't finish that statement ever, actually. Don't ever mention that again. Uh, anyways, uh, how are you handling the controls, Don? Yeah, please never say some out-of-pocket shit like that again, Joe. Anyways, yeah, I'm handling the controls surprisingly all right. Still got some rust on me, but not as rusty as I first thought. I think I'll get the hang of it in another episode or two, probably. Hey, fellas. I just remembered that I have a game that I wanted to suggest that we play through. Probably after our Sunshine Let's Play. God damn it, I forgot the rest of the bridge isn't here in this episode. Sorry about that, Joe. What game did you want to suggest we play? Yeah, I'm all ears, Joey. All right. Would you guys be interested in playing an RPG Maker series called Noel the Mortal Fate? It's a story about a young girl who gets tricked into summoning a devil and making a contract with him. Unbeknownst to her, there was a price she had to pay which was losing her arms and legs. After suffering such a betrayal, she eventually vows to take revenge against the people who used her. Not gonna lie, Joey, that sounds hella interesting. Say no more because I'm already convinced to play it. I like revenge stories depending on how they're written, so hopefully this game doesn't disappoint. Oh, hell, I'm down to play it. It, it does sound super interesting. We could probably play that game either after this series is over or sometime during it. You down with that, boys? Yeah, that sounds good to me. God damn it, seriously? All right, thanks, boys. I can't wait for us to start that game up. Uh, having fun, Donnie? I mean, I am Barry, but fuck, man. Messing up these platform portions really pisses me off. I won't miss that jump like that again, though. Trust. See, I got this level by the ass. Isn't there a blue coin somewhere around here? We're collecting those, right? Oh, I forgot about those, Joey. Yeah, collect them if you guys can uh, during your turns of the game. Say, I believe that if I spray this M graffiti, it should spit out a blue coin, right? I'm gonna try it. Oh shit, one popped out. Nice intuition, Donnie. Good shit, Don. Keep it up. Look, man, there is nothing the mighty Trump cannot do. Watch, Petey does not know what's coming his way. He's gonna be fighting an absolute force of fucking nature. I tell you what, 
Don really hit us with the, uh, I tell you what, from King of the Hill. <laughs> King of the Hill was a pretty damn good show, though, not gonna lie. Facts. I'd always watch it if I happened to be up late at night. It's a really entertaining show. All right, here we are, boys. Donnie versus Petey Piranha. Shut the fuck up, plant burger. Great, now the stupid shit broke the roof. Fucking dumbass, now I'm gonna beat your ass even harder. Come on, fight me, you stupid ass, green ass, lame ass fucking plant. All right, get his ass, Donnie. Fuck him up, Don. Locking in, boys. That's so fucking weird how that goopy shit creates those squid looking things. I really don't know what those things are, to be quite frank with you, Joe. Uh, I don't recall seeing them in any other Mario games. And I'm... Yeah, drink the water, you gluttonous fuck. I got you now. Fuck yeah, that's one ground pound on the belly, Don. Two more to go. The end of your life is near, Petey. Just accept it. Good shit, Donnie. Now ground pound him. Fuck yeah, take that, you fucking plant. One more to go. Ha 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 ha. I think Donnie is pissing him off. He was slapping his face to focus up or something. Oh, damn, I forgot he even does that if you get too close to him. Damn it. Damn, that was close, Don. You got this, though. Come on, you ass face. Open up already. Come on, you got this, Donnie. Burger plant, burger plant, burger plant. I'm going to annihilate this fucker if it's the last thing I do. Come on, open up. Your defeat is near, you ugly fuck. Okay, that's nasty as hell, but yeah, go Donnie, go, go Donnie, go. Go Donnie, go, go Donnie, go. Go Donnie, go, go Donnie, go, go Donnie, go. You got him, Donnie. Deliver the finishing blow and end him. Woohoo! let's fucking go, boys. Good shit, Donnie. Great job, Don. Now go get your deserved shine sprite, my boy. See what I told you, fellas? The mighty Trump can take on anything that's thrown at him. The second that Petey decided to take me on was the very moment he lost. Now he's going to be served up as a fucking plant burger. Fuck yeah, that's what I like to see. Well then, with the defeat of Petey Piranha, uh, that's gonna conclude our first episode of Sunshine. We all hope you enjoyed watching the video. Leave a like and a comment, and maybe subscribe too, if you enjoyed the content. You got anything to say before we sign off, fellas? We know by the time this video is uploaded, we're gonna be late for the 4th of July, but we hope you all had a fan-fucking-tastic 4th of July and ate lots of great food. Make sure to drink lots of water and stay hydrated out there, fellas. Don't underestimate the heat out where you live if it's super hot. It can kill you, so take the necessary precautions to keep yourself healthy and hydrated. All right, guys, the presidents are signing off. We hope you all have a damn good one, and uh, see you in the next video. Here's your meds, Joey. Oh, wow. I almost forgot. Thanks, Barry. No problem, Joey. Come on, boys. I'm friggin' starved for some steak. No worries, Donnie, we're going. I had to give Joey here his dementia meds with me. Man, I sure am stuffed, boys. That New York strip is to die for. That porterhouse T-bone steak definitely hit the spot, man. I love eating here. Yeah, that was an awesome dinner. Uh, by the way, we can go ahead and bounce since I signed the check. Also, don't forget the bread rolls, Donnie. Oh, damn. Thanks for the reminder, Barry. Can't be leaving those. I guess we'll wait out by the car for him. We definitely need to eat here again. What the hell was that? Hello, is anybody else out here? 
I could have sworn that I heard a noise as if somebody was stalking me behind a bush or something. Come on, Don. It's getting late, so let's get back to the house. Oh, damn. Hold on, Barry. I'm coming. That's what she said. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. You're an absolute comedian, Joe. Good morning, fellas. How did y'all sleep last night? Hopefully the beds were comfy for you both. I slept pretty damn good, actually, Barry. How about you, Joey? I slept pretty well, too. The beds are really comfy. Like, I didn't have any issues falling asleep at all. It's already easy as hell for you to fall asleep, to be fair, Joey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anyways, are we going to play some sunshine this morning, Barry? I'm kind of itching to continue our Let's Play. The game is honestly pretty fun, a lot more fun than I remembered. Oh, yeah. I was just about to ask if y'all wanted to continue the Let's Play this morning. You on board for this, Joey? Heck, yeah. Let's start it up if we're all wanting to continue then. Uh, I think it's your turn this time, Barry. Yes, it is. Thank you, Joey. Let's get this episode started then. Well, I guess I'll go open up Rico Harbor then. We can head back to Bianco Hills during one of your guys' turns. Uh, I think the viewers would appreciate seeing a different level for the episode. Oh yeah, that's fine, Barry. Go right ahead. Yeah, that's all right with me. Also, damn, those donuts you bought from Donut King are fucking fire, Barry. We'll definitely have to try more of their donuts soon. I didn't expect them to be so good. Yeah, these are probably the greatest donuts I've had in some time, Barry. Could have used some ice cream filling or something, though. I was about to say, of course, you'd need ice cream, Joe. But damn, ice cream filled donuts, Joey. That actually sounds pretty damn good, actually. I don't think I've ever tried an ice cream filled donut before, not gonna lie. I guess that's something I'll have to plan on trying soon. Come on, wake up, you fucking goop monster. There he is, get his ass, Barry. Oh yeah, I meant to ask you two this question last night, but did you notice anything weird out in the parking lot last night when we were leaving Texas Roadhouse? No, I didn't notice anything weird at all. I didn't notice anything weird either. Did you notice something weird, Don? Well, as I was walking out of Texas Roadhouse last night with the container of bread rolls, I thought I heard the bushes rustling from behind me. I don't know, it was really weird. It's as if somebody was right there, you know? That's really odd, Donnie. Maybe it was just the wind. It was a little windy last night. It could have made the bushes rustle the way they did, and it was all coincidence. It was probably nothing, Don. I wouldn't worry about it. Let's just focus on our summer vacation, yeah? You're right, boys. Maybe I'm just imagining things. The heat was probably just getting to me yesterday. Thanks, guys. No problem, Donnie boy. Past all that stupid political shit in the media, we're all the bestest of friends. Ain't that right, Barry? Facts, Joey. Friends for life. Watch. Our power of friendship shall vanquish this creature's ass now. Fuck yeah. Good shit, Barry. Good cleanup, Barry. If I'm remembering right, by bringing this building back, we unlocked the Shine Sprite Blue Coin Exchange Shop thing ran by those two raccoon people, correct? You're right on the mark, Don. So to clarify the need to collect blue coins for you guys, in order to collect all 120 shines, we need to exchange blue coins to get the rest of the shines we need to reach 120 total. So from here on out, we have to absolutely be on the lookout for anything that'll give us blue coins. Understand, fellas? Roger that, Barry. I'll keep my youthful eyes open for those delicious blue coins. You're not in your youth anymore, Joe. You're like eons years old at this point, man. Oh, come on, Don. Can't I just pretend at least? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, we're going to be fighting Gooper Blooper. Um, I don't remember him being you know, a hard boss in any way, to be honest. I guess I shouldn't speak so soon, though. Uh, what game are we talking about, fellas? No L, the mortal fate, Joe. Oh, really, Donnie? Fuck no, we're not. Ha 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 ha. We're playing Super Mario Sunshine right now, Joey. Oh, damn. You got me really excited there, Don. I actually believed you for a second. Don't worry, Joey. Later today, we're going to pick up Noel, The Mortal Fate, and start filming for that series. And Sushums will start dropping episodes of that uh, alongside Sunshine. Oh, yay. Thank you, Barry. Noel, 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 Noel. Damn, Joe, you need to relax, man. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, stop thinking about Noel and think about sunshine right now, all right? All right, I'll try my best. Hey, Joe, look, it's Noel. Where is she? Noel, 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 Noel. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I can't believe it took me this long to figure out that I need to go this way to get up where Gooper Blooper is. I'm so ashamed of myself, boy. Well, it can't be worse than causing an insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. I didn't even mean for that to happen, too. I'm still trying to forget about it. Sometimes I think dementia really can be a good thing, but then I'd forget everything and I'd feel miserable. Blue coin acquired. But yeah, I feel that also, we're finally here, viewers. The persevering Obama versus the Gooper Blooper. Who are you betting on, fellas? Gooper, Gooper Blooper. Blooper. The fuck? Oh, I see how it is. You're both finally turning on your good old friend Obama. Is that it? To be fair, you literally took 10 minutes to figure out where you were supposed to go when the beginning cutscene of the level showed you where to go, Barry. You know what? Fair enough, Joe. Watch, I'm gonna fry this asshole up. Just you two wait. All right, Barry, don't take too long now. Ha 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 ha. All right, you're living your last moments, you squiddy dickhead. I'm pretty sure I just need to grab his tentacle arms and rip them off. Boom, and off goes an arm. Okay, I see you, Barry. Keep on going. All right, you got this, Barry. Damn it, wasn't fast enough. Hey, Barry, what are we going to do today after this gaming session, by the way? Got anything in mind for us to do? Oh, I figured we could hit the beach today. There's a private beach a little ways down from the house, actually. Uh, we could pack up some stuff and head out right after this session and uh, order some pizza when we get there. Sound good, fellas? Ooh, let's get pizza with bacon, pepperoni, and sausage on it. That sounds fun, Barry. I'm down for it. I'm guessing that was a yes from Joey as well. Yeah, I'm in. Could we go out for ice cream after our time at the beach, Barry, please? You know what? Oh, I don't see why not. It's going to be a scorcher today, so we can go out for ice cream later to cool off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Barry. Oh, I'm so excited for the rest of the day. Pizza at the beach, ice cream later on, and then some Noel the mortal fate. This day is going to be awesome. Well, I'm glad you're excited about it, Joey. I'm sure it's going to be super fun as well. Same here. Oh, you got him, Barry. Finish it. Yeah, take that, you damn loser. Wait, the what the hell? Oh, no fucking way, bro. Nah, this nigga is gonna die this time. Oh shit, good dodge, Barry. Damn, I forgot this boss has a second phase or whatever. That's no problem for you, though, Barry. You can definitely rock your shit again. Shit, I must have really pissed him off. Why won't you just go down quietly, you damn squid? Man, I'm really selling right now, holy crap. Come on, you got this, Barry? I think you can restore your life points if you grab some of those gold coins that are scattered around the boss. Yeah, I'd play it safe if I were you, Barry. It should be easy for you to get the coins and then re-engage with the boss. You're right, guys. I'll go pick up those coins now. Awesome. I feel a lot better being at higher health against this guy now. Good. Now rock his ass, Obama. You pretty much got him on the ropes now. He's got three arms left. And that makes two left now. Good shit, Barry. All right, one more. The end is near for you, shitface. Go Obama, go Obama, go Obama. Go Obama, go Obama, go Obama. Go Obama, go Obama, go Obama. Go Obama. Fuck yeah, eat shit gooper blooper. Fuck you. Good work, Barry. Yeah, you sure showed him what for, Barry. Stay in the sea where you belong, you fucking octopus. Whatever you are, I don't want to see your face ever again. Yeah, and if you ever come back, we're going to fry you up like a fish and turn you into such a juicy, immaculate, tasty dish. Uh, OK, interesting wording, Joe, but yeah, I agree. Moving on from that, though, I, I was thinking about doing something fun for these videos, like doing some kind of question of the week type of thing for people to respond to. What do you think, fellas? That sounds like a pretty good idea to me, Barry. I mean, it's always great to engage with your viewers if you can, yeah? Plus, if it's an interesting question, it could result in pretty interesting responses, which would be pretty fun to read, honestly. It's a good idea to me, too. But if we were to start it now, what question would we ask for the week, boys? I have a pretty good idea. OK, so this is a question for all the viewers out there. If you could have any copy ability from the Kirby series as a superpower, what would it be and why? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Damn, that's a good one, Barry. I think I'd like to have the plasma copy ability so I can be able to charge up high-powered plasma blasts. I've always loved how strong that ability is in the games, and it always felt so fun to use for me. 
Hmm, I think I'd like to have the ice ability because I love ice cream. Well, I'd like to have the bomb copy ability. I think the ability to pull out a bomb uh, from out of thin air would be kind of cool, plus explosions are just pretty cool in general. I've always had fun with that copy ability in many of the Kirby games. Oh, God damn it! it's this fucking level. Well, I think I can handle it, actually. Maybe it isn't as bad as I remember. I guess I'll take the yellow squid board thing. I think the yellow one has a balance of control and speed, if I recall right. Yeah, I think you're correct, Don, though I don't remember which ones in particular out of the other two are the control-based one and the speed-based one. Well, damn, seems like Joey has this one handled. I'd be surprised if he fucked up here somehow. These tight turns and close calls really leave me on the edge of my seat, man. Holy shit. Yeah, we can tell from the way you were locked in. Good job, Joey. Great stuff, Joe. I guess after Joey gets the shine sprite here, I'll take the reins and chip away at Bianco Hills before we end the video. Sounds good to me. Sounds cool to me, Donnie. Hell yeah, let's get that shine sprite. And that's another one down, boys. And now the controller is yours, Donnie, my boy. Thanks for keeping it warm for me, Joey. Now that it's my turn, watch this shit get wrapped up quickly. This next shine won't take long at all, fellas. I'll go ahead and start working on ordering our pizza. I think two or three pizzas should be enough for us. Definitely get three pizzas. Donnie's got to eat, you know? I don't know whether to take that as some kind of insult or genuine concern for my well-being. In any case, yeah, three pizzas sound good to me. Oh, fuck me and my asshole, man. I wasn't expecting the next Bianco Hills level to be the secret level shine. Fucking damn it. Well, I am a pretty damn good gamer. Maybe it won't be so bad with me behind the controller. Thank God I'm not the one playing right now. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not playing right now, too. I hate to admit to my dementia, but not even that shit was able to help me forget how hard these levels can smash your balls into pieces. Oh, come on, guys. This is the mighty Trump that's playing right now. You know, the person that can climb over any obstacle that's thrown at him. You guys want me to get some Parmesan bites? Yes, please, Barry. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we believe in you, Donnie. Don't worry. Just be careful with the level, though. They really can kick your ass if you let them. Yes, please, and thank you, Barry. Don't worry, Joey. The mighty Trump will prevail. Just you wait and see. I'm going to be hailed as the Super Mario Sunshine World Champion the absolute master of platforming games, even. And once that happens, I'll be looking down on that Shadow Mario fucker, allowing him to bask in the light of my absolute glory. Ha 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 ha. Uh, okay, Donnie. Anyways, I made the order, and it'll be here shortly. Oh, I can't wait to have me some pizza. Oh yeah, I can't wait either, man. Wait, huh? What the fuck? He takes away Flood from you. Oh, whatever, I got this. <laughs> Fuck! That's some fucking bullshit. Oh, fucking really? <laughs> fucking damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Of course, I'm the first one to get a game over. A fucking course. Damn, don't worry, Donald. You got it next try, man. Come on, Donnie, you got this. Lock in, my nigga. Fuck yeah! Eat my ass, you dumbass secret level! Go suck a fat chode! Good shit, Donnie, my boy. Fuck yeah, Don. That's some real nigga shit. Well, folks, that was episode two of our Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play. Got any messages before we sign off, boys? That level can suck my fucking scrotum. Hopefully, all you viewers out there enjoyed this week's episode of President's Play. Next week, we're going to be kicking off our first episode of Noel the Mortal Fate. After that, expect episode three of Super Mario Sunshine. With that said, stay safe out there, fellas. And may God bless you and all of your family. We'll be seeing you next week. And with that, the presidents are now signing off. We'll see you later, guys.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of our Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play. Welcome back, bitches. Holy shit, relax, Don. No need to call our viewers bitches, man. That's not cool. Don't worry, Joey. They know I'm just joking. I love our wonderful viewers. Sorry to interrupt, but how the hell do we even get this shine sprite in here? I have no clue how we'd even get into this building. Oh, damn. I do not remember how we even get that one. Maybe there's a secret entrance of some kind? There might be, but I haven't a clue as to where that would be. I don't think we should spend all episode trying to figure it out, though. We should go knock out some more shine sprites in some of the levels. Yeah, you're right, Donnie. I guess I'll go continue working on Rico Harbor then in that case. Though, I should probably get this blue coin real quick. We still need to keep a lookout for those since we're doing 120 shine sprites for this playthrough. I know eventually we're going to have to do some work in Isle Delfino, though. Maybe we'll get to it in the next episode if we're able to. I'm down for it next episode for sure. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Joey. We could probably make next episode dedicated to doing Delfino shines. There may still be blue coins we haven't found in Isle Delfino yet. I guess it's settled then, fellas. Hear that, viewers? Next episode will probably be an Isle Delfino shine and blue coin hunting episode. We may throw in another level or two, though, if the footage isn't long enough, so we hope you're excited for that. Those blue coins can despawn. What kind of crack were these developers smoking when they came up with that idea? The same crack that messed with the masses and ruined my re-election run last election, I guess. Shit, dude. I don't even know how I won last election. Your election campaign was goaded as fuck, I feel. Something definitely went wrong somewhere, man. Yeah, I don't even know how you managed to win, Joey. That is something that will always be a mystery to me, I guess. Yeah, where the fuck was the Scooby gang when all that shit was going down? I swear it must have been a ghost rigging the damn thing and it succeeded. Oh, they were just busy back in Crystal Cove. You know how it is, Donnie. Wait a minute. Do you know Mystery Inc., Joey? Well, of course I do, Barry. A few years ago, I was vacationing somewhere near Crystal Cove, and that's where I ran into those meddling kids for the first time. We quickly became friends after we got involved in a mystery and solved it together. Before we went our separate ways, they told me that if I ever needed help solving a mystery, I could reach out and call them for help. Damn, how come you never told us that you knew Mystery Inc., Joe? You could have introduced them to us. Me and Barry love those guys. You guys never asked me about it, but you know, I could set something up for October. We could take a road trip down to Crystal Cove and meet all of them. What do you two say? Oh, fuck me. I'm not looking forward to this fucking level, man. But yeah, that sounds nice, Joe. I don't think I have much planned for October, so we might have a road trip on our hands that month. Fuck yeah, I'm down to go, Joey. You don't know how long I've been wanting to meet Shaggy and Scooby, man. They're fucking awesome. I'm sure they'd be absolutely stoked to meet you, Donnie, my boy. Especially since you two have something in common. You both love to eat lots of good food. All right, Joey. I like food just as much as the next guy, but come on, man. Don't insinuate I like food to the point I eat until I get fat. I mean, he's not wrong with insinuating that, Don. You have been putting on quite a bit of pounds lately. You should probably start exercising. Me and Joey worry for your health, you know. Yeah, I know, boys. I admit I am a little overweight. It's just really hard to get into the routine of losing weight and sticking with it, you know? No worries, Donnie. We can help keep you on track to losing some weight. Ain't that right, Barry? That's right. I've got the perfect routine for you, Donnie. Me and my wife, Michelle, exercise together at home almost every day. I could get you onto our routine if you'd like. I think I'd like that, Barry. Thank you. Speaking of exercise, we should all play Wii Fit at some point. It'd be a huge help for Donnie, that's for sure. Fuck me, man. One wrong move, and you can easily fall off. I've always hated this damn level, man. The parkour and climbing is so annoying. But yeah, I think that's a good idea, Joey. Maybe we can make a video on it sometime after summer vacation. Oh, playing Wii Fit for a video sounds like a pretty damn good idea. I'm totally down for it. Moving back to the game at hand, though. I need to go over towards those trampoline-looking things in order to get to the shine, I think. Easy does it, Barry. Don't get too hasty. Just relax and focus on the platforming. You got this. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Hop off my dick, you stupid tornado thing. Fuck off. Ha 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 ha, the dumbass missed. Now that shine is as good as ours, boys. Fuck yeah, good work, Barry. Honestly, I was expecting this level to be absolutely hell, but I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. Well, the controller is now yours, Joey. Go break a leg. Damn, are you for real, Barry? Why would you tell me to go do such a thing, man? Joey, it's just a saying, you absolute fucking goofball. Ha, 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 ha. Barry doesn't actually want you to break a leg. He was wishing you luck on your turn, pretty much. Oh, shoot, really? 
Thank you, Barry. I apologize for accusing you of saying something hurtful. Joe, are you skipping out on taking your pills again? How could you forget a simple saying like that? I accept the apology, but you really need to keep up with taking your pills every morning. I'm sorry, guys. I mostly just forget to, but those pills also make me feel funny, man. I don't really like it. Well, you have to, even if you don't want to. You have to keep your memory in tip-top shape, Joey. I mean, you're the president and our friend after all. You need to be at your best every day. I know, guys. I'll try and taking it every day like I'm supposed to. Forgetting does kind of suck, so I might as well take them. Your phone, Barry. Thank you, Donnie. One moment, fellas. I need to take this. Hello? Hey, partner. What's up, George? I know your flight got delayed by a day or two. I assume you just got to the airport here on the islands. Yeah, man. We had to make an emergency landing just before we were going to leave North America. It was a headache, but they managed to get the flight back up in the air. I'm at the Honolulu airport now, as you're aware, so I'll be getting an Uber to come pick me up and take me over to your place, Barry. Sounds good, George. Good to know you got here safe and sound. Me and the guys already got started on the Sunshine Let's Play we talked about before leaving the States. We're on episode three now, as of this recording session, actually. So you're not that late, honestly. Excellent. That's great to hear. Well, I'm going to let you go now because my Uber's here. See you when I see you, partner. Take care. All right, George. See you soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Georgie Poo is finally here, guys. Woohoo! Feels like somebody somewhere said something fucking stupid and cringe. Weird. Relax and focus on the level, Joey. Though from the looks of it, you got one of the easier levels since it's just a simple fucking collectathon. Wait, isn't that one of the crates that can give us a new nozzle? How the hell do we unlock that? I think we have to unlock it from somewhere in a level or something. I think we could have gotten it in the Rico Harbor level you were playing on, Barry. I think Joey is actually remembering right, Barry. I think there is a rocket nozzle box we could have hit back in Rico Harbor level three. Damn, and you couldn't tell us, Joey? Well, it doesn't matter then, I guess. I mean, it's not like we need it right now. It seems like we're doing fine with just regular flood. Yeah, no worries, fellas. I got this level in the bag. All you need is flood for it, really. Maybe later we'll need it, though. In episode four, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll get it in episode four. We'll have to wait and see. You know, George is pretty good at this game, apparently. Maybe he'll know a thing or two about this game that we either forgot or just don't know. Oh, look, now these tornado-looking motherfuckers are messing with me now. Shoo! Go away, you flying devils! Leave me alone! Yeah, I agree, Barry. And I don't think that's something those flying devils want to do, Joey. They want to dine on your flesh and eat up like ice cream ra. Damn, they caught your ass lacking, Joey. Why don't these devious little bastards chase after that imposter posing as us instead, huh? I'm sure he's hella tasty. Go eat him instead. At least if he dies, then all we got to do is clean the island and then enjoy ourselves. Fuck that guy. Good looks on the blue coin, Joey. We're making pretty good progress on this series, I think. Thank you, Barry. I try my best. By the way, fellas, I thought of an awesome question of the week to ask our viewers. Want to hear it? Ha! You missed me, stupid fuckhead. Sure, Don. What's your question of the week for our viewers this episode? All right, for all of you viewers out there, if you could visit any world slash level in the Mario series, what would it be and why? Be sure to leave your answers down in the comments section below. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying the series so far, consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel if this kind of content is right up your alley. These flying bastards, man. I almost got the ledge, but of course he had to hit my caked up ass. Thanks for the question, Donnie. That one is pretty good. Honestly, I think I'd like to visit Gelato Beach from Sunshine. It's just such a pretty and relaxing looking beach. Sticking to this game, I think I'd like to visit Pinna Park. That place looks really nice, and the park honestly seems like so much fun to visit. Oh, I'd love to visit Coney Island because that place has so much ice cream. Coney Island, huh? That's from Mario Party 5, I think. I guess I should have expected that from you, Joey. <laughs> you know me, guys. I fucking love ice cream, man. That shit is like crack cocaine for me. I'll die without it on God. Yeah, we feel like you run on ice cream at this point. <laughs> Fuck, man. I need me some delicious, mouth-watering, zesty-looking ice cream so bad, man. Oh, my fucking God. I don't think zesty is the right description for a cold treat, Joey, but yeah, go off, man. <laughs> Anyways, do any of y'all read any webtoons? I've been reading a series called I'm the Grim Reaper recently. It's seriously really good. I definitely recommend it. Oh, that sounds pretty interesting, Barry. How long is that webtoon currently? There's like 202 episodes of it currently, if I recall. I'm not fully caught up yet, but I recently finished reading season one recently. It was pretty fire. Oh, webtoons. Oh, I love those. 
I was reading this one where a young girl found some cool looking rock or gem or something that gave her the ability to teleport to dimensions, though it's more like a curse because she can't control when and where she gets teleported to. Why does that actually sound low key kind of interesting though? I'll look into it later tonight. No problem, fellas. All right, so I think I can safely finish off this level now, seeing as I don't see any more blue coins in my line of sight right now. Damn it, you guys didn't see that. Careful, Joey. That ball sack looking orange cactus thing was gonna nibble on your balls and steal them. The fuck? Ah, uh, no, not my balls. Don't steal them, please. Ha 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 ha. Joey, you numbskull. You're gonna be fine, my guy. Go ahead and get that shine sprite so the mighty Trumpster can have his crack at the next level. All right, Joey is on his way to the shine. Is it ever explained what those starfish looking things are? Those things that go along the tight ropes. Are they even a named enemy in the Mario series? This is the only game I ever remember seeing them in. Yeah, I think those things are exclusive to this game, Barry. I don't remember seeing them in any other Mario game either. Let's go. Shine acquired motherfuckers. Now the controller can swap over to Donnie. Good luck, soldier. Thanks, Joey. Now prepared to have your shit rocked game. I suppose I'll go open up Gelato Beach, so that's open to us from now on. Good thinking, Donnie. We might be able to find a cool nozzle upgrade while we're at Gelato Beach in the meantime, hopefully. I think we'll definitely need the rocket nozzle, yeah? If I recall right, it completely trivializes the cloud platform part of Corona Mountain. So it'd be really useful to get the rocket nozzle before then so we don't have to slowly climb up using flood. Pretty clever thinking, Joey. Now, fellas, watch me vanquish the shit monster of shitty darkness. Woo-hoo! Go get him, Donnie. Teach that sucker a lesson about messing with us. I still want to know what exactly that black goopy stuff is. There's no way in hell that's just plain old paint that is magically enchanted or something. Or maybe it is, and I'm just overthinking this shit. You're probably overthinking it, Barry. This nasty looking shit comes from the paintbrush that the imposter Mario uses. So it's probably magic paint like you mentioned for all we know. That's all we have to go off of, really. Oh no, get back out here, you fuck. This dude thinks he can sink back down and go back to sleep. Hell no. Not on the Trumpster's watch, he won't. All right, when he dies, Donnie, that's when you go and slurp him up and eat him. That's sus as hell, Joe. Hell no, you said it before and I didn't agree to do it then. That's the same for how I feel now. Hell nah. We've got to get the Scooby gang to investigate your ass, Joey, because you act sus as hell sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Barry. Now, guys, watch as I vanquish this fuck from the world of the living. Be gone, asshole. There's nothing to investigate about me, boys. I'm just a normal guy who happens to be president, man. Also good shit, Donnie. Good work, Don. Now we can finally see Gelato's beautiful beach. I can't wait to see it again. All right, boys, it's Gelato Beach time. But before we go, let's wash this toad off first. I'd hate to leave him all covered in that sticky goo, man. Pause. Yeah, wait a damn minute, Donnie. That's gross as hell, man. Oh, fuck off. You guys knew what I meant. Get your heads out of the gutter already. We've got a shine sprite to acquire. Oh, God damn it, not another secret level, man. Ooh, tough luck, Don. I think you got this, though. I think this is that one level where the platforms are sand that erode away when you step on them. I don't recall if there's several of those, but this might be an easy one, maybe. What the fuck are those duck-looking things? If those were real, I'd be absolutely terrified. Those things are called a cataquack. Don't ask how I know that. I just remember these damn things for some reason. Might be underlying PTSD from getting thrown by these damn things so much back in the day. These cataquacker assholes better stay far away from me, man. If they so much as graze even the tiniest bit of hair on my body, oh, so help me God. I'll fry them all up and have them for a Thanksgiving feast. I wonder if cataquacks taste good. I'm pretty curious now, not gonna lie. Joe, how do we kill one of these things? Snap out of it, Barrack. Don't let your inner black man take hold of you. Stay focused on the prize which is the Shine Sprite. We'll have all the time in the world after this recording session to eat chicken and shit. Of course this pussy steals Flood away from me again. It's all good though, because I got this level by the ass. Also, that's a funny way to pronounce Obama's name, Joe, ha 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 ha. Now forget how he pronounced my name. What the hell did you mean by that statement you made, Joe? <sighs> ha 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 ha. He didn't even hear what you asked, Barry. I'd probably give up on your pursuit for an answer on that one. Uh, huh, what, what's going on? 
Where is Princess Peach? She was just feeding me ice cream while I laid on the beach peacefully. Oh, forget it. Anyways, you're playing Super Mario Sunshine with us, Joey. You literally took a nap as we were playing. Try and stay awake, man. Sorry, boys. Sometimes I just get so sleepy and I can't help it, man. Fuck yeah! I fucking flawless that shit. Let's fucking go. Good shit, Don. I'm impressed. Good work, Donnie, my boy. Always getting us the win when it counts. Hey, that's the mighty Trump for you. Hey, Donnie. Pass the controller here. I'm itching to play one more time for this gameplay session, to be honest. Here you go. Thanks, Don. Guess I'll hit up Bianco Hills. Oh, yeah, let's hit up Pinna Park next episode since it's open. That sounds good to me. We could probably end next episode off with that level. Ending episode four with Pinna Park sounds cool. I'm down with that. Wait a fucking minute. PD is coming back. Hold the fuck on, Barry. Pass the controller back here. I've got some unfinished business with that dickhead. All right, be my guest, my guy. All right, I'm gonna make sure he gets turned into a plant burger this time. He may have survived our encounter last time somehow by turning into goofy looking shit that looks like poo, but he won't survive a second encounter with the Trumpster, that's for sure. Yippee, plant burger, plant burger, plant burger, plant burger. That's still the goofiest shit I've ever heard, saying that she'll turn Petey the Piranha into a plant burger. I don't know how somebody comes up with that, but you managed to do it, Donnie. All right, fuck this guy. I decided to free him based on a whim and he doesn't even reward us handsomely for it. I was expecting a blue coin or something. Let's fucking kill his ass. Okay, I think killing him is going a little too far. Now I agree, Joey. Keep spinning your shit, King. Oh, anyways, do you have a strategy for your rematch with Petey, Donnie? If I remember right, there's these balloon creature things that you gotta shoot at him because he flies around and stuff. Well, the first order of business is getting some of the goop cleaned up so I'm not having to run around in it while we fight him. It'll just prolong his fight and make him more annoying to fight. Good idea, Donnie. Clear out the goop and he's easy pickings. Exactly, Joey. Might as well leave that dude covered in shit since he most likely won't reward you with anything. Yep, that's the plan. All right, let's try and parkour our way up to that stupid plant monster. You know, all this gaming is really making me hungry, man. Think we can grab a bite to eat after this gaming session, Barry? Yeah, I was planning for us to go out to a restaurant when George got here. So, after we wrap up this recording session and when George arrives, we'll head out and eat. Sound good, fellas? Yeah, that's good with me, Barry. I could honestly use a fat-ass burger with some fries right about now. I'm starved. Remember, Don, if you want to keep eating that stuff, you're going to have to start exercising every day to maintain good health and a healthy weight. Oh, shit, you're right, Barry. Don't worry, I'll be exercising with you and your wife. I'm sure that'll be a great start for me to maintain good health. Sorry to interrupt your chat, guys, but you got to lock in, Donnie. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, Joey. All right, boys, it's time for the ultimate fucking showdown. The almighty Trumpster versus the soon-to-be plant burger. The vegetarians are going to be all over your plant ass when I'm through with you, dickwad. Yeah, wake up, asshole. It's time for you to die, you stupid plant. Bro's about to get his shit rocked on, God. Fuck, I missed. You got it, Donnie, stay focused. Plant burger, Donnie, plant burger. Damn it, how did that not even hit him? That was kind of bullshit, not gonna lie. Shit would have had me molding for real. Okay, these octopus fuckers can kindly eat my ass full homo and disrespect. I'm not even going to question what you just said. But anyways, come on, Don. You got this shit in the bag. Yeah, let's go, Donnie. Shoot that bastard out of the sky. You got this. Correction, Joey. I got this plant monster by the ass. And down he goes. Go get him, Don. Beat his ass. Your days are numbered, you plant freak. Man, we really need to get you a new controller, Barry. The left control stick is really fucked on this one. It's really uh, wobbly, if that's the right way to describe it. It makes it harder to aim flood, which kind of sucks. You're right on the mark with that, Don. I've had this controller for such a long time and has been through lots of use over the years. I guess it's time to let this one go and get something new. Shit, come on, keep your mouth open so we can fill you with water, you ass face. All right, your ass is mine. Bam, take that. Good stuff, Donnie. Good work, Trumpy Poo. All right, never call me that again or I'll smack the shit out of you, Joe. 
Anywho, just two more ground pounds onto his belly, fellas, then this plant will finally be defeated for good. Wait, who just walked into the house? Hey, what's up, fellas? Oh shit, what's up, George? I see you managed to find the key I hit out there. Hey, George, it's been a while, man. How are you? What's cracking, cowboy? Well, you know me, fellas. Good old Georgie is usually having a jolly old time. I see you're tussling with Petey Piranha, Donnie. Oh yeah, I currently got him by the balls. I just need to pound on him two more times and he'll be down for the count. Come pop a squat with us, man, and watch. Sure thing, partner. So how was the plane ride, man, aside from the delay and all? Had to deal with some snot-nosed little kid kicking the damn seat every so often. It was a little exhausting, but I guess it was an all right flight. I'm just glad to finally be here. The Uber ride over was good at least. Fuck yeah! One more and you're done, you damn plant. Sorry for cutting you off, George. I just got a little hyped up is all. No problem, partner. You're not too shabby at sunshine. Thanks, man. We surprisingly went from being downright ass to pretty all right after getting used to this game's controls. Yeah, this game is most definitely infamous for having awful controls, honestly. Though I still manage to enjoy the game for what it is, despite that flaw. Yeah, I agree, George. I really enjoy the level designs of the game for the most part. Levels like Gelato Beach and Noki Bay are among my favorites in this game. Noki Bay is fucking based. I'm honestly a big fan of Pinna Park. It's a fun looking island with a great environment, I feel. Boom, got him. Nice shot, Donnie. You sure you weren't a gunslinger in a past life or something? Oh, shoot, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. That's just the raw skill of the Trumpster you're witnessing. Whoa, -ho, let's go, Donnie. All you need is one more pound on him and it's over. Of course he goes for the tornado here. Bro is just stalling. God damn it, I figured that would have been a good enough spot to aim for to fill him up with water completely. I'll go a little higher then. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I could have ended it there had that stupid ass squid not jumped out at me like it just did. No worries, Don. You got this. Just keep on focusing, partner. Yeah, you got it, Donnie. Focus up, my boy. With the power of friendship, our powers will combine here and give Donnie the energy he needs to win. Go, Donnie, go! And there we have it, boys. This fucker will now be served up as the plant burger he's destined to be. You're gonna serve him up as a what? Woohoo! Plant burger, plant burger, plant burger. Honestly, George, you'll still be confused even if they explain it to you. So I just go along with it, not gonna lie. And with that, we reach the end of the episode, viewers. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope you all stay safe. God bless you and your families. We'll be seeing you all next week. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with content uploads. The presidents are now signing off.